Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live. In this episode, I want to share with you um, a kanji drill setup uh, in Blender using geometry nodes. Okay, so I've been pretty nerdy and obsessed about learning kanji, right? And ideally, I want to do this inside Blender. It doesn't need to be inside Blender, but I thought it would be fun. And, and I want to take advantage of uh, Blender 4.1 actually can use a string input inside geometry node. So you can use kanji or emoji. Emoji will work as well as a character that you can just display as a curve. Um, ideally, this should be like text objects. And then in, in the previous videos, I use sphere chalk and you can do the same thing but now uh, I'll, I'll show the example using geometry nodes. And there's also something called index switch nodes, which is quite new um, in recent Blender. I think it's, it's actually new in 4.1. Index switch is very simple. Basically, if you create index switch, okay, you, you, you can set up this node so it takes string or whatever uh, value data. In this case, I'll, I'll I'll need to use string, right? And you can type whatever here, maybe like fruit name, apple, banana. So by default, it's only have two. And if you want to have more, you add item manually here. Yeah, just, you know, like kiwi, mango. And you use this output and in this case, I just pipe it into string to curve. And then we use the index value. If we want this to be random, just use random integer. Uh, okay, we need, apparently we need a value. Plug into the seed in order for this to work. Yeah, okay. This actually works. So you can use, yeah, just use frame time. And it's gonna drill, drill into this value using index switch. And the output is just gonna be string to curve and to fill curve, set the material, whatever material you want. So that's the idea, right? It's very basic, very simple. Ideally, I like to be able to say to AI, you know, like my machine, if, if this is like the most powerful AI and I'm using Blender, I want, I tell my AI, hey, I want to drill 100 kan kanji because I'm still currently level N5. I think the lowest level of kanji, 100 kanji, and this is all the characters. I don't know everything, but I want to drill it, right? So I'm using ChatGPT. Give me a list of 100 kanji characters commonly associated with JLPD N5. I want to drill this, creating a flash card that I can display inside Blender. Okay, so that's that's the idea. Okay, now with this setup, take a look at this node, right? This node needs an input. So you need to input the kanji one by one, copy paste, copy paste 100 times. And that's that's not very fun, right? Ideally, also the AI should be able to generate the nodes that simply just create something like this. And yeah, currently it, it, it cannot do that because uh, the AI is not smart enough to understand I'm in context inside Blender and I need to use geometry nodes. But this input node, right? This input node index switch does everything pretty much. You just need to provide list. In order to create the list, I need to use Python, right? And okay, I need to dig through like many things. Uh, currently, I don't, I don't have the Python code that actually does add item. Okay, so we need 100 items. By default, this index switch only gives you two. You need 100 of these. So I, you can click 100 times. But that's not very fun. So what, what I did was actually right click and then um, 
add to quick favorite right or uh, with quick favorite you can actually just queue and then add item you can do it this way or I actually assign this into a shortcut F13 on my keyboard and I just hold F13 until I have until I have 100 this is also this is also pretty silly pretty stupid still because you have to do it manually but at least I just need to hold my keyboard until I get 100 so I have slot 100 slot on this index switch string I know I should be able to do that using Python. I try using ChatGPT, Gemini, whatever. None of them able to tell me how to create a node like this with 100 slot. So anyway, so that's something I I will think about and maybe create for the next video. But anyhow, okay. Um, you can type. Now I, you want to input a value into this index switch, right? Okay, the way I do it using Python, import BPY, get my nodes. The node is inside this uh, node groups called uh, geometry nodes. Let me let me double check if I oh it's actually called kanji drill now. I shouldn't change that, but anyhow, kanji drill. Yeah, okay. It uh, it works with the kanji list, uh, but before we go to kanji list, I want to show you, okay, we have fruit list. So, with the fruit list, I actually type this manually, apple, banana, orange, whatever, and this is like a string. This is a string list inside Python. I call it, I name it fr fruit list, and I put this variable and typing it manually. Typing it manually, however, is not fun, right? You want to be able to do this automatically. So I have this kanji list from ChatGPT, which is I just, which I just copy paste, right? There's 100 of them. Copy paste, and we have this list inside Blender as a text, kanji list, and all. so from that text, I can just simply reload it into uh, Using BPY, I just get okay. Text file is this kanji list BPY dot data dot text, and then get all the lines of the text, and then from these lines, from the body of the lines, turn it into a list. And yeah, we can actually print it out. Okay, this is 100, 100 kanji that I want to input into geometry nodes run it so blender python magically insert 100 kanji into geometry nodes we don't need to think about it it's just automatic right that's what computer code python does right it's all about language and we, we want to be able to tell ideally we want to be able to tell the ai okay i have blender app here and i want to be able to have flash card that displays me random kanji 100 kanji randomly and then you know just drill into it you know this is very basic you know super basic and you, you can do this in any different way many many different ways but i i have now flash card displaying the kanji you know like randomly I'm, I'm using this ping pong at the moment you can also use wrap or modulo just let it to you know run over 100 kanji in order or like in ping pong it's like goes up to 100 and then back you know like it's going in ping pong you can if you start with 10 kanji for example you start with this numbering this is number four i don't know the name of the character yet some of them i remember some of them i don't but this is anyway 100 kanji now it's already this working inside blender and the way I, if I want to learn this properly, now I have the kanji, right? I can drill over it. Shift A, grease pencil, blank. So I have blank and I can go to draw, um, right click. I set the radius, set the strings. I'm just using my mouse. I can drill into this kanji using grease pencil. Turn on the auto keying. So whenever you go to different frame, you can drill 
this kanji. Yeah, the kanji have to be written in order, which is also like a little bit crazy at first, but it's fun after a while. And you can write it. You can, if you want to know the order of the stroke, you want to know the meanings, right? We know this kanji. It's, imagine this like drawing a stick figure, right? I suggest also using this uh, kanji map. This is also, I think, it's very cool. Very cool. Because it's almost like uh, an AI that understands uh, what you see and then it tells you what it is. It means now, right? Ima. Yeah. I think yeah, it's called Ima. If you read it, and this is the stroke. It makes sense, right? The whole thing. And then it gives you more examples what this kanji you can this kanji can morph into different character which is I think is pretty really really cool it's just kind of meaningless at first but you know and then you you kind of need to memorize the stroke and it's like wow that's a bit it's a bit crazy but once you understand the process okay let, let me try to find another Kanji, this one, what is this? Rain? You memorize that. Memorize the stroke and then try to recreate it here. I don't know, I think I made a mistake, but it tries to find the closest one anyway. And then it gives you now, it gives you the correct one with the stroke. And this is indeed rain. Ame. Ame, yeah, I think it's Ame. And the rain can be used into can be can morph into different characters, right? So it's that's I think the process of learning that's a little bit more fun learning kanji. And you can actually do a little bit more on top of this, like being really visual and stuff. But okay, by the way, currently the limitation of this, of course, this is geometry nodes. The output the output is gonna be mesh if you write if you go to edit mode it's not a character and ideally this value this value needs to be able to output into something that you can copy paste at the moment you can't anyway so the process is just um okay let's say you you, you like this one you want to understand what is this what is this character you know it's pretty weird character but you can jump into this kanji map. Oh, okay. You now it's you can see this is this this means inside middle center inside middle center. Uh, lots of variations, but anyhow, you got this, and you can actually copy paste from here. Copy paste into copy paste into freeform app on a Mac, which is a bit crazy as well but very very useful why because freeform app on a mac or iphone or ipad you can you can do this it say chung it, this kanji in chinese character it means middle as well but in japanese it's gonna this is what i want to show you you know like this character sounds like that you can translate it. Okay, this guy, you can duplicate. This is normally how I how I like to learn to make it more fun. If you want to learn, yeah, in Indonesian as well, it's mean tengah, right? In English, it means inside. Replace with the character. This means inside. Middle, center, inside. It's more like inside, I guess. So there's a lot of example here, right? It's, it gets crazier, of course. But at least it's, you're learning the kanji. 100 kanji. Um, kanji flash card that you just generate using geometry nodes. So, But the process is like that, pretty much. Ideally, what... I wish the AI can do is to recreate these nodes 
um, this one node index switch of course needs a lot of input and the input like I show you before you need to add item manually like this just clicking click clicking multiple time or just assign this into a shortcut and then just hold your keyboard button and it's gonna generate 100 if you want to whatever um, but okay let's see if you let's say give me 50 most popular emoji 50 most popular emoji okay it's gonna give me 50 a little bit slower it's it's llm chat gpt ai it's still pretty smart right it's, it gives you this stuff over here okay now uh now give me the list of the emoji pair but pair it with kanji meaning so you want the, the emoji with a kanji meaning you know face smiling face love you got a lot of kanji which is pretty crazy but you can copy paste this into blender new blender all right list emoji right leave in list emoji now we have the emoji because this is blender 4.1 it understand emoji now if we get back to this guy uh okay is it list emoji oh get the text file list emoji List emoji not defined. Okay, emoji list. The name of the, of the text and the name of variable was wrong. Ah, okay. This is what I'm talking about, right? So we just we can just replace this with the emoji now which is you know it's a it seems like nothing but actually the, the way you use the, your computer should be this fun because you're talking to the machine you're talking to the machine you can normally you google search and then you you find it but now we are actually making an app sort of like an app that's making inside blender of course we are making blender teach you yeah the meaning of this emoji and then the equivalent in in english of course if you want the uh, the japanese one just now get this list paste it into the emoji so it's a bit all over the place but now we get something. You can actually some emoji actually display really interestingly. This one oh Namida tears. This means tears. Oh wow. I have still have the grease pencil, right? I can draw. That crying person means tears. This is this is water, <laughs> the water coming out from human eyes or something, you know, water, Namida tears. I'm just using arrow key left and right and then I can get this emoji. Suddenly, you know what I mean? I mean, even though it's really simple, you are actually learning something here. So like I say, unfortunately, we, since this is like a mesh geometry output and we cannot, we cannot get we cannot just copy paste this the only way if you really want to because this is on a mac right you can just screenshot that thing get this thing right and then you just this is a i don't know i don't know what i'm really doing but it's really using your computer your machine to talk to you in a way I should be able to copy that, right?
I'm pretty sure in, in the near future this is gonna be so much simpler and easier. Pace. Ah, uh, okay, maybe. Oh, anyway, you got this thing. You can search for the tears. Namida tears. Face with tears of joy. Copy. Paste it here. Tears. Okay, this this is the word for tears. This is the word for oh, it's actually not water. This is large, and this is a house. But the tears comes from this water, kind of like a water thing. So the tear coming out from doors and big. So this is radical, radical for tears, like a uh, element particles, and you get this tears and you got all this example of tears in kanji yeah like, like i said it seems a little bit crazy but i think in the near future you, you should be able to ask your ai hey i have blender here i want to drill random kanji you know with emoji whatever uh I want to be able to do this faster. So also I manage, uh, not, not manage like this thing, right? Nodes, ideally the nodes should be created using AI. I, I might, I didn't manually type this, but I was using, I was looking at the YouTube channel about this. See, this is uh this is the index switch it has different name different name and this should be automatic automated as well but anyway this this script is uh blender python to generate the nodes inside geometry nodes so scripted nodes is also a little bit tricky ideally you know AI should be do, able to do that but I was studying this from CG Python basic of blender Python for geo nodes you know the the 100 code 100 lines of code of this will create the nodes for you that you can just connect you know and feel curve you know index but what I mean is that like the example eventually you should be able to do this you can drill any flashcard emoji or kanji or whatever language you are learning and you should be able to look at this okay look at this character you can of course find the translations you can find the equivalent of what is this you know um, using image for visual, for example, using Bing. Bing also understand a little bit of kanji, I think. So if you look at this, okay, this, what is this crazy thing? Doesn't make sense at all. Search for me that visual. Okay, yeah, you got this. Paste it into Bing, and you're gonna get something. The reason I'm using Blender is because in Blender, perhaps I want to, yeah, I want to turn this. Okay, I, I'll tell, I'll tell my AI. Now, I want to have like some kind of story or dialogues for the 100 kanji. I want to just drill over it, make me a story based on this. We have 100 frames of kanji. For every kanji, I want it to have some kind of visual. Okay. So what is this exactly? It's like a kid's learning. What is this? Study learning science. Mm, kaku. Study.
in Gakusei, okay, Gaku. It say it actually say Gaku, right? Okay, Gaku, learn. This means learning, so it's get this image. So Gaku, this kanji means learning, right? That makes sense, right? So that's the whole crazy things I want to share with you today. Hopefully it makes sense. But anyway, if you didn't understand any of this, I hope you find it curious, curiosity, a little bit more curious about Blender Python about how you can use Blender visually, you know, the notes part, index switch is really cool. It's quite new, it's in Blender 4.1. This, of course, can be done inside a game engine as well. In the game engine, if you talk to your powerful AI, but at the moment, I only have this machine, so it's not great, but the idea is if I say to my AI, I want to drill 100 kanji, N5, my level is N5, I'm still pretty low, right? Level one, like kids. But I want to drill over the kanji, I can do that. I should be able to do that. And the Blender part is only, you know, because I'm doing Blender, and this is a Blender, Blender channel. So anyhow, that's the whole main point. Learning with AI is really fun, and Blender is just a tool. And then uh, the whole thing, like, Blender, Python, whatever, it's just the code that turns into visual notes. In the end, you want to be able to see this. This is your app that you just created by talking to AI, right? Hopefully, you find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.